Hello everybody! Have you ever been in the situation that you're looking for a memory card for your camera, drone, smartphone or GoPro and they told you that it has to be super fast if you want to record uh, 4K videos for example, but you don't understand what all of these numbers and letters and symbols mean? Well, let's talk about memory cards. Intro. Well, memory cards, they are so important because without them, where are you going to save your pictures or videos? <laughs> Some cameras have even two slots for memory cards and that is perfect because imagine if one of them fail, you don't want that to happen. You want also fast SD cards, especially if you are going to record 4K videos and in this case they have to be at least of 32 gigabytes or more because 4K videos tend to require a bigger space. For your smartphones, also you have to get fast cards. So what you have to do is always check this on the cards. If you see HC means high capacity between 2 gigabytes and 32 gigabytes of storage. On the other hand, if you see XC means extreme capacity and that is at least 64 gigabytes all the way to 2 terabytes. If you're going to film 4K videos, I will recommend you at least 64 gigabytes. Here you can see 10 inside the circle and that means that it's going to work for at least 10 megabytes per second. But that is the minimum because here it says 95 megabytes per second. But well, 10 is the highest in the market right now. Now in some cards you will see V30 and that means that records video at least at 30 megabytes per second, which means that this card will be able to handle everything, even 8K recording. So this is the one you have to get if you want to record 4K videos. There are other cards in the market that would work, but to be sure I would choose the ones with the V30 on them. Now there is like a U, and in this case with the 3 in it, and that is the rate of a minimum sustain write of not lower than 30 megabytes per second, and number 3 is actually the top of the market nowadays. Here on the top, you can see also this number 1 in a Roman number, which means maximum rate of 104 megabytes per second, and there are also number 2, which are USH cards, that stands for ultra high speed cards, that go up to 312 megabytes per second. You have to make sure that your camera allows USH2 cards because these ones have two rows of pins in the back which allows the speed of the card. If your device doesn't take these kind of cards, then the card will work as a USH card 1 and the extra money you spend for the USH2 was for nothing. Also check your camera because not all the cameras are capable of using these fast cards. But of course if your camera is relatively current, for sure it can handle these cards. If you are traveling for a few days or more, don't forget to transfer your footages to your laptop as much as you can to have always your card free and be safe of failures. One tip, when you transfer your files, copy them to your hard drive, laptop, tablet, or whatever you will save them. And then, and just then, when you confirm that everything was copied properly, then you can erase them from your card. <laughs> It happened to me that I cut and paste and then when I check the files were not saved properly and when I go back to the cart everything is gone because I cut the files. So please copy first, trust me. Now the cards for drones, sport cameras and smartphones are micro SD cards and the information is exactly the same as the SD cards. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe for more content like this. If you have a comment or you want me to do some tutorial, just let me know in the comment section. What are you waiting for? Subscribe, it's free. Until next week.